Hey guys, Ashley Bornanson here with the Red Carpet Report. We are in Beverly Hills today at the fourth annual Media Access Awards, honoring people with disabilities that are making an impact in the entertainment industry on screen and off screen. Okay. Nice to meet you. Uh, I've, I've got nothing to say, but I'm always ready to shoot my mouth off. So uh, <laughs> Great. You ask me anything. <laughs> well, you're being honored tonight. How excited are well, I'm you? I'm not being honored. Oh. I'm presenting an oh, honor right. to Jenny Gold. So I'm in. I'm, I'm, I'm handing it over rather yeah. than taking it, which is fun for a ch yeah. Yeah. How did you get involved? How did I get? Jenny and I are old friends, and uh, she asked me. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, yes. <laughs> she's she's given me for the first time celebrity status. So. <laughs> so why do you think it's so important to portray these accurate depictions of people with disabilities in the media? I don't know. From my point of view, I have a, a high-maintenance wife, three hungry children to feed, a mortgage, so every little bit helps. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we've come a long way in um, our diversity in media and entertainment with all these different characters? No, I don't think there's nearly enough emphasis on superheroes. I think they're sadly neglected. <laughs> superheroes? <Yeah. laughs> Um, what would you like to see in media and entertainment that hasn't been touched on yet, whether it was someone with like a disability? To see TV showrunners <laughs> employing people in wheelchairs to direct their shows. I would love that. I don't think it's ever historically happened in the history of television so far. But Is there a particular show that you like that addresses someone in a wheelchair or someone with a disability? I know I no, love Glee. No, I'm, I'm talking about just regular shows employing yeah. people like Jenny. <laughs> so I don't think it matters what the show is. I mean, you know, uh, people in the industry with disabilities don't necessarily want to focus on the subject of disabilities. They just want to be employed like everyone else. Uh, and I still think that the industry has a lot of catching up to do in terms of its uh, awareness of the talents of disabled craftsmen and women. Anyway, that's interesting that you know, you know, behind the scenes as well. What do you yeah. think Jenny is representing? Representing? Yeah. Oh, she's bucking the system. She's doing what she's not supposed to do. I love it. <laughs> yeah. She and I, are, I think, are the are the disabled power, power block in the DGA. I think we're it. Really? <laughs> yeah. So, in the next five years, in a perfect world, what would you want the industry to look like? Um. Uh. I, I, I don't really know what the five-year plan is. <clears throat> I mean, the internet could just swallow us all up and make us all totally irrelevant. So uh, um, I don't know. People still like their shows. <laughs> yes, I, I, I guess so. But I guess just uh, uh, um, a little more open-minded. Um, you, you know, I think that... Uh, it's a risky business and people like to minimize risks and I think that every now and then they should take more of them. I like that, me too. Uh, but, um, wow, that's a lot to say for the first thing in the morning. <laughs> Thank you so much, I really appreciate okay. it. Good luck. Thanks for watching this interview. If you liked it, be sure to like it and for more interviews, subscribe. And check out all of our other interviews from this event. We got to talk to actors from Breaking Bad, Switch to Birth, and the creator of Game of Thrones. And be sure to visit talkaboutit.org. See you later.